first image that many of us imagined when the nuclear crisis in Japan began. Chernobyl, the worst disaster at a nuclear power plant ever. Well, today, the Japanese government is officially confirming what so many of us suspected, that the Fukushima nuclear plant crisis ranks just as high as Chernobyl. The alert level has been raised from 5 to 7, the highest level possible. Now, officials admit that damage to the plant caused by last month's earthquake and tsunami could result in substantial and long-term consequences for both health as well as the environment. So what did Chernobyl look like back then? Does it give us a picture of what we're dealing with now? It's called the sarcophagus, a massive concrete structure built to contain the worst nuclear power plant disaster the world has ever known. An explosion in Ukraine in 1986 showed us just how high the stakes could be in producing nuclear power. It is unconscionable and this with this tragedy there that they are not coming forth in a new spirit of frankness and openness. The numbers from that disaster are staggering. According to the World Health Organization, 240,000 cleanup workers received high levels of exposure in their attempts to contain the radioactive debris. 28 of them died that year. And public health experts believe that as many as 4,000 of those exposed to the disaster died later of cancers linked to Chernobyl. Children were also impacted. 5,000 cases of thyroid cancer were diagnosed among Ukraine's youngest victims exposed to the leak. In all, nearly 350,000 people were forced to abandon their homes as a radioactive cloud blew over Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. And the invisible damage, the psychological wounds, were also astounding. Chernobyl led to massive relocations, a shock to the economy, and mutations in animal and plant life in the surrounding region. A no-man's land of 36 miles still surrounds the Chernobyl site. Now, a chilling confession from the Japanese government. The nuclear nightmare in Japan is now ranked with Chernobyl. When scientists talk about cleanup efforts, they don't speak in terms of months or years, but centuries. So four weeks now into Japan's nuclear crisis, it's clear we're still in the beginning of what will be a very long and difficult story. Well, there are some stark differences, however, between the disasters in Japan and Ukraine. Chernobyl was a massive explosion that blew radioactive material into the air, while Japan is more of a slow leak. Still, the Japanese government has already evacuated 85,000 people from within 12 to 18 miles of the power plant. Let's get a clearer perspective of the nuclear crisis. Our Michael Freelander is a former senior operator at three nuclear power plants. He joins us via Skype from Hong Kong. Michael, thanks again for being here. Uh, always appreciate your perspective. I know you just saw our piece here on Chernobyl. It may be too soon to compare this with Fukushima but they have now both received this highest alert ranking. Tell us how similar they are and how different they are. Well, uh, for, for one thing, uh, I think it's important to put it into a bit of context. Uh, the the upreading, so to speak, and going from a rating five to rating seven is, was actually a consequence of the authorities going back and looking at data uh, right. and, and some computer modeling sure. based on events that happened in the early uh, onset of the accident, uh, when the explosions, the dramatic explosions that we saw on TV, uh, when those big releases occurred. Um, it, it's important because a lot of people I've spoken to today are worried that all of a sudden things have taken a dramatic turn for the worse, but in fact they haven't. Now, there, there, there's some measure of consolation in that, you know, we, we, can, we can make the comparisons with Chernobyl and things like that, but one of the things that, that absolutely is for certain, we actually have a pretty good handle on what's on the ground. Uh, teams have been sent out, they've taken out their Geiger counters, they've been able to measure the level of uh, radioactivity on the ground. Now, it's not to say that this isn't going to be a massive effort over the next decades in order to clean up, um, but, but I think that we have a good handle on uh, exactly what's on the ground and what's necessary to clean it up. Do we know if it's worse than Chernobyl, if it equals Chernobyl, or we think that perhaps we have a better sense that this is not as dangerous as Chernobyl? Well, some of the figures that I saw today, and, and again, you know, these are estimates. No, nobody has a hard handle on, 
uh, on any other case for that matter of either Chernobyl or, or this reactor. But some of the computer modeling and, and some of the meteorology that, that was in fact uh, going on at the time, uh, they, they've actually done some pretty reasonable estimates. And I've heard figures that range uh, in the, the important radionuclides that this is about 10% of the size of Chernobyl. Okay, so in terms of comparing it to the size, it's about 10%, so it's, it is not as dramatic. What do we know about this rating? Does it tell us anything about radiation exposure or the condition of the plant or the long-term impact? No, it, it doesn't. Um, the, the, the rating system was devised uh, more than 10 years ago by uh, international agreement. What does because, it tell us? Of course, around the world, there's, there, there's almost 500 nuclear power plants different technologies, different jurisdictions. And so it was an attempt to try to put everybody on, on equal footing. Uh, the, the, the categorization of a seven basically means that it was a really bad accident. Um, that, that's about the only characterization that you can make. So that if you're looking at this accident, say compared to other ones in other countries, that, that everybody is reporting on a, on a common basis. It really doesn't give you any notion of, of exactly how bad it is or, or what the level of effort is going to be. Okay, Michael Freelander, thank you for putting this into perspective. I appreciate it.